guys, welcome back to the channel. With the release of Monster Hunter Rise on PC just around the corner, many of you will play Rise for the first time. If you didn't know already, one of the many new additions in Monster Hunter Rise are the Switch Skills. Switch Skills are swappable moves for each weapon, allowing different playstyles and approaches to combat. Each weapon type has a total of 6 Switch Skills, divided in 3 sets of 2 moves. That means you can only switch between 2 moves of each set. It's not possible to change one move of one set with another one from a different set. Every weapon already has one switch skill of each set by default. The other switch skills must be unlocked by completing different tasks. After you complete the requirement, talk to Master Utsushi. He will have a yellow speech bubble above his head. There are three tiers to unlock all the switch skills. First, you have to unlock 3-star village quests and 2-star hub quests. This is done by simply progressing through the story. Second, you have to craft 8 variants of the weapon class you have chosen. And third, you have to clear a special quest in the hub specially for your weapon type. Again, those quests are unlocked by progressing in the story. We made this series to help players by showing what each switch skill does and how to use them. In this video, we're going to talk about Sword and Shield The Standard Draw Attack of Sword and Shield You step forward while performing a downward slash. This also provides some kind of flinch free. The switch skill for advancing slash. You slide while doing two slashes. If you connect to a monster, you jump up in the air and have an option to do a jumping bash or mid-air slash. In addition, you can jump manually if your attack does not connect. Combo of successive shield attacks. This doesn't use sharpness and inflict KO damage when hitting the head of a monster. The switch skill for hard basher combo. After hitting a shield strike, you thrust your sword, dealing damage followed by a multi-hit attack that benefits from elemental and status attack. Using two warbugs, you swing your sword around, hitting multiple times dealing mounting damage. On top of that, you are invulnerable for the duration of this attack. The switch skill for windmill. 
With a Metsu Shoryugeki, you jump into the air using again two Warbucks dealing mounting damage on your way up. That can be followed by either a Falling Bash or a Plunging Thrust. If timed correctly, you blocked an incoming attack similar to a Guard Point, increasing the damage you deal. That's it for the Sword and Shield. If you want to learn about the other weapons, make sure to check them out in this channel.